guys, welcome back to another episode of the Cambridge United RTG. We have three games today to round out the month of December. Uh, we lost 3-1 to Arsenal in a sim yesterday. Uh, and then we went and lost 3-0 to Newcastle as well in a really frustrating game. Uh, that just was more like pinball than football. But... Uh, oh no, was that the Watford game? Well, one of them was. Uh, Newcastle beat us, so we're actually on the back of two straight defeats. Arsenal at home in the cup, followed by Wolves, and then Watford at home this time after beating them yesterday, and hopefully it'll be six points in the league and progression in the cup, although obviously it'll be a bit more difficult to get progression in the cup against Arsenal than it has been in some of the previous games. The side is growing, Gwilt is 89 now, Hubner is 89 in goal, McCallum's 84, Gordon's 88. Saria's 84. Brera Martins is a little bit tired, actually. So, well, to be fair, actually, in the in the Carabao Cup, we've been playing the rotation 11. So I will continue to give those guys uh, the football. And Doyle needs to play. Thank you. Uh, to be fair, Okadina was going to play at left back, but uh, he is tired because he just played the last one. So Bush gets the game then. Hayes is up to 80 now as well but that's what we'll play with in this cup game because that's the team that's gotten us this far in the tournament drop the video a like if you're enjoying uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any further content let's see change their kit because uh it's not, well, it's not a, it's not a it's not a kit clash but it's it's not not a kit clash is it if you know what i mean right uh ugh, i'll go and sort their lineup out and then i'll see you in game so arsenal then not exactly the same 11 as we simmed against, but certainly close to. They've got Xavier Bowden in goal, Joao Mario at right back, Milan Skriniar and Alessandro Bastoni at centre back with Sergio Gomez at left back. You can see their ratings are quite high here. 88 rated Ruben Neves alongside 91 rated Pedri, Alan, Saxi Alan San Maxima on the uh, left hand side with Feder Federico Chiesa on the right. They've got Amari Hutchinson at Cam and Alexander Isak. Up top, they've got some quality on the bench as well. An 83-rated 83, 83 Otson Edouard apparently have lost the ability to speak today. A Rodrigo's 88-rated, uh, as well as an 81-rated main for Niles and an 81-rated Yukinari Sugawara. My lineup looks as you see it there, but as we have done with the Cups, it's an opportunity for the fringe players to play, get some first-team football, stop them whinging quite so much, and... Regardless of the fact that we are later or in the latter stages of the competition, it's still only fair that they get the chance to continue to play. So here we go, taking on the Arsenal and a ridiculously good Arsenal at that. That's a nice ball over the top. Chiesa, well, fouled really. Oh, and Isak is in and that's gone through. <sighs> Nisildo Hayes and it's taken less than three minutes for this stacked Arsenal team to take the lead. Oh, it did. I thought it had gone through his legs. It didn't. It went just next to his leg. Never mind. Uh, hmm. That might be the start of a bit of a nightmare game for us. But we'll wait and see how it goes. Who could stand it up? <sighs> Tried, but we'll get the corner. And Harmer will deliver. And up we go, please, Harry. Well up, darling. But well wide, darling. Gets past Harry Darling, stands the ball up well. I'm going to miss that header, aren't I? Thankfully, Callum Doyle was there on the overlap on the cover and was able to stop the ball going in because I think it might well have found the back of the net had the defender not been there. Falconer to Lancaster and inside here to Provod, who's pushing forward. Falconer is arriving in support. We'll squirm it to him. Look for Kuwame. And we could be in for a chance here. We are. Oh, put too much on it. That's me shooting with too much power. Kuwame was in. With a really good chance, excellent turn, sent the defender, and then sent the ball. Here's Isaac, around the corner to San Maxima, pushing the boundaries of what's onside and what's not. Hutchinson to Chiesos, offside. The Lino put his flag up very, very quickly indeed. Federico Chiesa has not doubled Arsenal's lead there, thankfully. We're still in the game for now. Pedri picked up a yellow card for taking out Jack Lancaster a moment ago. Sergio Gomez, nice tackle from behind by Josh Key. Got something on the ball, so it wasn't a foul. Pedri Chiesa, he's had the ball in the back of the net once. But they're not going to get it in the back of the net again. Not yet, anyway. We're still holding our own. Ah, balls. We're still holding our own here in this first half. We might have a vastly much inferior side to the 11 that they've put out. But 
We're doing all right. We're doing all right. Ruben Neves delivers and we'll get... No, we won't get rid. Oh, Isaac has another. Ah, the classic. Stoppy time is gone, but because it went for a corner, we'll let the clock continue to go down. Goal. Into Harmer. Desperate for some more football, Gustavo, Gustavo Harmer. But with the quality of the side, the way it's been playing so far this season, he just hasn't found it. It's a lovely turn by Kwame. Oh, and it would have been a brilliant goal as well. We're not out of it yet. It might be 2-0, but don't don't reckon that we can't do something here. Lancaster will get that under control. We'll find Provod. He has a bit of a rocket of a left foot. That rocket was blocked, unfortunately. Yeah, I can't quite get there. Sam Maximan, heavy touch. Oh, I didn't expect he'd cross it first time, so I elected not to dive in for a challenge, and I'm glad I did. I still didn't get there, but didn't make a fool of myself in the process, at least. He's at Lancaster on the counter-attack. And Falcono spins well. And now with space to break into. Maybe a runner can use, please, Kawame. He has done. Oh, Kirk. I definitely didn't put that much power on that pass. I barely tapped it. He's overplayed that. He's really heavily overplayed it. I mean, look at the amount of power I've put on that pass. I've barely tapped the button. And he's fired it straight to the keeper. That's infuriating. And anyone that is playing the full 90 here should be able to recover enough to take part from the bench in the next game against Wolves. It's Chiesa. Hayes is having to make a number of saves now to stop Arsenal from getting out of sight. Ruben Neves again, the go-to set-piece taker. Although they'll question why they've made that decision if his set-pieces are going to be like that. Sam Maxima to Faulkner and out wide to Gomez who just keeps it in. Very well done. Alain Saint-Maximin out to Sergio Gomez. I'll have that back. Thank you. You'll have that back. You're welcome. Gifted. Hutchinson, 3-0. Shoot yourself in the foot there. 3-0 Arsenal. And that's my fault. Rodrigo is involved. Ah, oh, Falkner's in. Good save by Hayes. It won't be four. But three, well, one would have been enough. But three is how it's going to end. Arsenal go through to the Carabao Cup semi-finals. But we're not too heartbroken about that. It's given these rotation players some extra football. And hopefully, next year, we'll have the opportunity to play some more first-team football in European competitions as well. And the FA Cup is about to be drawn for the next month of January too. So continually, we shall hope to try and keep them at least a little bit happier than they ordinarily would be playing minimal football. So hard to keep everybody happy in a squad this big, but... I'm trying to do my best, whilst at the same time trying not to affect our ability to actually win games. At least in the league, anyway. Right, we'll have a quick sim of training, and then it will be Wolves that we take on in the league. Wolves line up with a five at the back. Dominic Livakovic in goal for them. I know he's having to go in at right back, because they have one right back in the entire squad, and he's 69 rated. And they've also about 40 players in their squad as well. So make of that what you will. If it gets too silly, I may even end up having to stop doing super long-term RTGs because the game just gets more and more broken the further you go. Nikola Milenkovic at centre-back. Nathan Collins alongside William Saliba as well with Ruben Vinagre at left-back. Artur in centre-mid alongside Christopher and Kunku with Raki Rakim. Raheem Sterling on the right. Pedro Neto on the left. And an 86 rated Charles de Quetelera through the middle at striker. They've got some quality on the bench, but not a massive amount of it. Although Ennisiri is there if they need something offensively. And Bayandir is there as a goalkeeper should they need him. But I mean, how rare is it that a goalkeeper gets injured or sent off in a game of FIFA? We're at full strength today. So let's go and win, shall we? Sterling. Oh, it's a good run. And I can't quite get there. And Kunku. I have to back off to Ketelera. Good save. No! Oh, I can't react quickly enough. Charles de Ketelera with excellent ball control. It bobbles up. He controls it on his knee. He spins. And then he buries it. He's, he's spun and... Like he's done a pirouette with the ball. He spun and turned one way as the ball's actually behind him, I think. 1-0 Wolves! Ruben Vinagre 
And one way then the other. Trying to outmuscle him here with Keanu Hoover, but he's just said and done. Keeps. Whoa. Raheem Sterling ended up in the back of the net. He's still there. He's decided not to move yet. Perhaps he was trying to do the old uh, give the keeper the... Jesus Christ. Give the keeper the, the slip and wait for him to kind of pop it down on the floor in front of himself and then run up and score the goal a la Paolo Wanchop all those years ago. Thanks, Shal. Good finish, but poor pass. Oh, Semenyo's in. He's not scored for a little while, I don't think. He has now. Antoine Semenyo! 1-1 one, one at the Abbey Stadium. Yes. Get in. That's three defeats in a row now in all comps. We need to turn that around, please. I don't want the customary busy Christmas and January period dip in form. Just beating the offside trap. Definitely beating the keeper. Oh, nicely intercepted. That's poor from Collins. Oh, but brilliant from his midfielder to help him get away with it. Because I was going to play a pass sideways to then play a ball forward to a man that was racing through. They may even end up having a chance on goal from it because of that excellent interception. I'm not sure what midfielder it was. They've given it away, though, again. Oh, but they're pressing. They're pressing too poorly, and we'll get rid of it. Fired forward to Soria. Himself has been quiet recently, actually. Angel Di Soria. Pablo, as his birth name was. Stone. Stone. Ah, intercepted well by Artur. Was it him that made the interception a moment ago? I'm not sure. Barrera Martins. Oh, for Christ's sake, Elliot. Elijah. Why oh, I called you Elliot. Again, everybody's first name's wrong. Elijah Stone gets in the way, and we've given it straight back to Wolves again. Half an hour played. I can't get it back off Artur, who is pulling the strings in the midfield. Christopher and Kunku. Brilliant ball to, to Ketelera. Incapi. Slows him up at least, whilst not actually able to stop him having the shot. But makes it much easier for the keeper to deal with. Oh, McCallum's intercepted. And, oh, brilliant interception from Nathan Collins to make the heavy touch. Or lead to the heavy touch, enforce the heavy touch from Antoine Semenyo. We could have been in again because I had support there as well. And now they've got runners too. Charles de Ketelera is trying to do it all himself. Finds Raheem Sterling. Good block by McCallum. It's a really hotly contested tie, this one. Quite a physical encounter. Both sides standing good chances of scoring another goal. Ah, he's going to win that header, isn't he? He is. Cade Gordon off the bloody line, pal. That's why you have men on posts. No. Yes. Hoobner with the save. Get rid of it. Oh, we're living... Boy, at our wit's edge at the minute. But it's 1-1 at half-time. Into Neto. This is real tough at the minute. It seems to happen every bloody save. We always have that wobble around Christmas and New Year, don't we? It seems that at the minute, this season is no different. Hubner, bowl that out. Oh, God, that was meant for Elijah Stone. Very nearly intercepted. Thankfully, it wasn't. Rodoni. Out wide to McCallum. Stay on side. Oh, he ran off side down the line. I couldn't play it to him. He's back on side now, at least, Saria. And Rodoni is there. Okay. Barrera Martins instead, then. Out wide. Back inside. And again. Stone. Rodoni is on! Big save! Semenyo, please! Saria, please! Please! Get in the net! Yes! Cambridge 2, Wolves 1. Oh, I'm having to work for this! Get in! Sterling and Kunku de Ketelera. Option out wide. Hopefully offside now. Oh, nice little dink ball into him though once he got himself back onside. Ruben Vinagra. I'm not sure whether it was a tackle or he just got... Oh, never mind. Hey, JPH. Penalties, Liverpool. What a shock. Stone out to Gordon. Into Semenyo. Looking to play K. Gordon in behind. Oh, I don't fancy anyone through the air, but I do fancy Semenyo from the other box. And then here is Stone. Big save by Lovakovic. Cleared away, but not very well. Elijah Stone got to it. Provod is now off the bench and in for Barrera Martins in that secondary centre mid spot. I would have liked him from the edge of the box, not Elijah Stone a moment ago. Rudoni will lift it. Doesn't quite work. Hit a hand, though. Perhaps I should have waited for the free kick, given that we've got Provod on the pitch now. Surya. Lift it in. Semenyo's there. Who's oh, going in? Over the keeper. An awkward header that the defender probably should have cleared. But Semenyo with a glancing flick. 
And Levakovic caught out. He obviously wasn't expecting his defender to miss it either. Because he's behind the man. I don't know what the number 20 is doing there. It's like gone over his shoulder next to him. And he's just not been able to... Game must not have been able to find an animation for him. He's just not paying proper attention. To be fair, that did look quite high and over the keeper. So I, I have to say no blame on the goalie there. Didn't realise it had gone quite so loopingly high until we saw that second replay. But Semenyo's on the score sheet again. And we're back to winning ways at home against Wolverhampton Wanderers. By three goals to one, we lead. Get me back in that title fight, please. And we're... Oh, Rudoni, bit of switch. Oh, he's in. Oh, I tried to sweat them. I didn't feel like I could bury it there with Kate Gordon with a keeper rushing at me. So I decided to try and square it. Turns out, wrong decision. Couldn't quite find a teammate. Sterling, can I get to that with oh, McCallum? Not really. I definitely got the man there and a foul was going to be given. Thank you, ref. Yes. Three straight defeats. Ended. Back to winning ways. Give me those points. Thank you very much. Ah, that felt better. Spurs conceded five against Newcastle. I think we can be pretty damn sure that Tottenham are going to be in the championship next year. Wolves. Wolves? Watford. Watford with Kostya Korolev in goal. Bjorkan at right back. Pelmard, Matty Pollock and Julian Prinz. Harrislin, Sanson, Serrano, Usish, Baroa and Cowell up top for them. 4-4, bloody 2 for Watford again. We got a good win against them last time. And after that really solid performance against Wolves, I'd really like to do that again. We've got two players starting here that weren't involved in that last game. Falconer is in at Cam and Josh Key is in at right back. And other than that, we are as you would expect me to be. So... Let's see what we can do. We might be able to do something straight away. Oh my god, that was disgusting. Stone. Ah, blocked. Never mind. Still got it. Falconer. I could go to Stone again. Bit more space. Cade Gordon. Semenyo. Falconer! 1-0 United! Of the Ellis. Good throw. Into Serrano. And into K Cowell. Definitely hit an arm there, but we won't complain. Penalties for handballs turned off. Semenyo out wide. He went for me again there, the man in the middle. A campaign to remember, apparently, for Baroa, their striker. And to be fair, he was the one that scored against us yesterday. Oh, brilliant save. Pollock clears. Cowell wins that header and Sonson will get rid of it. I thought Saria was going to score to make it two there. I genuinely didn't envisage the goalkeeper pulling out such an incredible stop. Ferreira Martins. Into Falconer. Bit of space. Kay Gordon's tucked in narrow. Around that corner is Stone. Oh, we're trying to do it. We did Anfield, but there's a defender. Oh, there's a defender in the way. Oh, not at Anfield. I can't remember where we were when we did that chip with Semenyo. But I distinctly remember doing it. I can't remember who it was against. I think we'd simmed against Liverpool in that episode. Haslin was driven into Kay Cowell. And Incapi. Oh, and trying to turn. Actually backed up into the defender. Son Son with the corner from that far side. And get rid of this, please. Oh, well, they've done it for me. Thank you. Kate Cowell into Ushish. That's oh, a lovely ball down the line. And Barrow was in. He scored against us last time. Whoa! And Morgan Son Son will do so today. That needs a replay. My God. What a goal. He just ran onto it and thwack. Bang. Unstoppable. Morgan Sonson. Has he ever done that in his life? I'm not sure. They're level, Watford. Callum. Into Falconer. Still recovering from that Sonson effort, to be honest. Cade Gordon looking to get in behind. Support is arriving here from Elijah Stone and Falconer is there. Semenyo's making a decent run. Ah, lifted it. It will actually reach Saria. Real Martins. I'll try and get that to Falconer. And Falconer. Oh! Five star wheat foot. Thank you, please. Kirk would like to play some more football, it seems. Mr. Falconer is lighting the Abbey Stadium up today. Don't need any floodlights. He's doing it all himself. 
What a finish. It's not quite as good as Son Son's, but it's right up there. Cracking goal. Nice tackle. Oh, never mind. <laughs> nice interception, maybe? No? Yes, just not necessarily with who I thought it was going to be with. Semenyo. Oh, t I mean, come on. Yes, thank you. Dirty, disgusting challenge. Morgan Sonson has spoiled what was a good performance from him and tainted that finish with a nasty challenge. Just needlessly swiping the legs away of Antoine Semenyo there, who was up against five defenders in front of him and had Sonson next to him, was going nowhere, and he's decided to just absolutely wipe him out. It's awful from Watford. Not necessarily from Watford. That's harsh on the rest of the club. That is a very, very poor decision from Morgan Sanson as an individual to do that. And he's put his side right up against it now. Oh, sheesh. Oh, did he just try... Did he just try a rainbow flick? I think he might have just tried a rainbow flick. Ubna wakes the save. Are they going to get that lucky? The 10 men of Watford get that lucky. Don't tell me the 10 men of Watford are actually going to turn up now. Incapi with a lovely interception. I'll just knock that inside and Kay Gordon can go again. Elijah Stone will look for Kay Gordon. It's an excellent ball. It's picked him up beautifully. Stand it up, looking for Semenyo. And he's not going to get there. Can Elijah Stone get to that? Serrano's much taller than him. Fire that into Falconer. Get yourself a hat trick, Kirk. Maybe next time. They've still got all of their defensive talent. And they've still got all of their attacking talent on the pitch. Or is Kay Cowell now... They might, I don't know whether they've made a change. Kekau might be leading the line by himself now. He is. So they're still as defensively solid as they've been all game, he says, of having scored two goals. But they've still got their two banks of four, Watford. So it should be going forward where they uh, struggle. And it's where they should have struggled, but they got a lucky, a lucky bounce go their way. Yeah, there they go. There is that change as well to take Ushish off now, to bring Trossard on. So, former Brighton man, Leandro Trossard, now playing his trade here at Watford. And here's his first touch. Gets it under control well, into Prins. Cross somehow evades the defender. We get the head on it there with Sam McCallum, and Surya will look to break. Come on, I, I really need to get three points here. Really need to get three points. Elijah Stone plays the ball through. Cade Gordon, I need him to get a goal. Or get an assist. Stone! Korolev with a brilliant save. Oh, come on. I mean, to be fair, I lost to Burnley last year and they didn't even have a, they didn't even have a bloody goalkeeper in goal. So not fa not winning against ten men here isn't necessarily that embarrassing. But we shouldn't be losing to ten men. Or failing to win against ten men. Because Michael Gwilt with what looked like metallic, shiny hair, has buried that header in the back of the net. Nobody stops that, thank you very much. 3-2! Gordon into Barrero. And McCallum. Burnley have scored in their game, so they're still going to be an issue at the top of the table. Thank you, Semenya. is still an issue for the defence here. Falconer, go on, son, your hat-trick's there! Oh, and the roar! The roar for Kirk Falcon is fourth. Or third, and our fourth. The crowd enjoyed that. Absolutely. Three points for the Yellers. You see the police trying to hold back. The police were trying to hold back uh, a fan there that had gone onto the pitch. You can tell it's a German-based ground, can't you? Because the back of the policeman's uh, top said Polizei. Ah, <sighs> get in. That's definitely us getting the win then against ten men. Kirk Falconer. Oh, my God. They can't help but screw themselves over at the moment, Watford. They got lucky with their second. Could Falconer have a fourth? No, because I've misplaced the pass. It will be 4-2. It might be more. It might stay as it is. Turam has equalised for either Everton or Chelsea. I'm not sure which one he plays for, actually. And it is 2-2 at Goodison Park, which is good news for us with Everton and Chelsea around us. Are they going to get another one? They might do from a corner, you know. Again, they get a lucky deflection. This time it doesn't lead to a goal, but it might lead to the chance for a goal. Which it won't, because we've headed it clear. Well, 60 seconds to go. That'll be a tidy, comfortable in the end. He says, oh, lovely ball. Oh, what a save. 
Maybe not comfortable, but in the end, <laughs> it will lead to a Cambridge United victory. Up we go. Oh, what a save from Ubner. Jeez Louise, it's still going on here. Watford trying to score all of the impressive goals. Oh, wait. Oh, really? That's your clearance? That's your clearance? Get out! 4-2 win. We Yeah, my voice is going. We end the episode uh, with a good victory. And progression up the table, I hope. Man United drawing with Burnley. Chelsea drawing with Everton. Both good results for us. That see us ba -ba -da -ba, up into the top four again. You love to see it. Two points off top. A table now led by Everton. Burnley dropped to sixth. But there's still only four points off top and two points behind us. So as we head into January, I've no idea really what I want to do. We've Newcastle in the FA Cup, Leeds, Brighton, Wolves and Tottenham. So Spurs will be the Sims game. We'll play Leeds, we'll play Brighton. I'll probably Sim Wolves as well because... Uh, we just played them today. We played Watford in back-to-back -back game, back-to-back -back episodes as well. So just to kind of mix it up a little bit, uh, we might play the FA Cup game against Newcastle. Or because it's a transfer window, depending on what happens, I might play two, sim the rest. I've not decided, if you can't tell. Uh, we've had a loan offer here for Lewis Hunt, which we will absolutely accept. And it, it is a short-term loan, is it? Oh, no, it's not a short-term loan. He rejected the short-term loan to... Sociedad for some reason. Let's delegate and make that a short-term loan, please, that could hopefully go through in a matter of days. Right, I'll get myself to the first, and then we'll see where we go from there. Is anything going to happen as we get to the first? Key contract situation. Let me guess. Now I can't offer him a contract. Well, I can. That's weird. I was actually going to try and sell him, but I, I, to be fair... I still can, can't I? What's he on at the minute? 16 and he wants 69,000. Get out. I'll offer him a new deal. And in FIFA fashion, oh, 14.8 release clause. What's he value? Sure. I'm going to, I think I'm going to sell Josh Key and look for a, a better backup right back to have more strength in depth there. Outside of that, I'm really not sure what I'm going to do in the transfer window. Really not sure. Kuame contract situation. Come on. I'll delegate a renewal there. What's he on? And we'll look to sell Kwame as well. Uh, do I look to sell Kwame? I might look to keep Kwame and sell him next year because he's he's definitely done a bit for us this year. I've been offering contracts out left, right, and centre this season. Haywood's gone out on loan. Boost has gone out on loan. So actually, I'm going to need a left back as well. Or am I? Because Darling can come out of there. Doyle needs to go in. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need a left back because Okadina. I could have moved to left back, but uh, I'm now don't have a centre back to fill that role or centre back of any real quality. So back up left back, back up right back. Now because of the nature of me obviously trying to get ahead for holiday, I don't have the luxury of the time of waiting for your feedback on this particular occasion. So my January transfer window will be dictated by my own decisions and by my live chat decisions. But obviously moving forward, every other window has been decided by you guys in the comments primarily. So that will continue to be the case next season moving forward as it has been every window up to this point. But for now, uh, I just, I'm going on holiday and I can't record a week's worth of videos in two days. So um, <laughs> that'll be all for today. Thank you very much for watching. Drop the video a like if you've enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any more. Do make sure you come and follow me on Twitch so you can be involved in the behind the scenes of what goes on at the club. But for now, that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.